What's up guys? Got a 07 Silverado with a Cobalt airbag coach. Uh, B0100, B0103 uh, front impact sensor coach. So with both of them being out, I wasn't really sure that it was for sure going to be the sensor. So I'm going to show y'all what I did to figure it out. So looking on my scan tool and looking on all data, it explains how it works. It says uh, it'll give it two signals to kind of wake up the sensor. So I back probe the sensor. There you go. There's one here. They all they go on with a bolt. One over here. Same deal. These are cracked, so I'm, I'm assuming they're probably bad. But so you'll see that crack behind the sticker. But still. I have to test it. They're pretty expensive. I looked them up. They're like $140, $170 a piece. I'm not wasting customers' money on a guess. I'm going to test it and see. So, here's what it looks like when you turn the key on. So, it'll, uh, it'll send voltage to it twice. And there's your two patterns. Now, if it's a good sensor, it will send voltage to it. It looks like it gets... Uh, I don't know, we'll say six volts. It would stay at six across. It would come up, if it was a good sensor, it would come up and it would stay. It's not. It's trying to wake it up twice, like the like all data said that it would. It tries to wake it up twice and goes flatline again. I don't know if you guys ever use a oscilloscope, but just a little tip. Uh, I set it up for channel one. This button here, peak. You, you set that to peak and you set a trigger here. You set it on whatever volts you want. And I already started recording here. I'll cycle the key on. You seen something there. Now stop it and hit the zoom button. And it should go to the trigger point. So there you go. You see something happening. So I have it hooked up backwards. You see how it comes flat line and it goes backwards. It goes down. It's negative voltage at that point. See the flat line is right here on zero. So it's going down. So what you can do is you can go back to record. And you can hit invert here. But instead of doing that, I'll just switch my leads around. So, this is how I did it. Let's see. All right. So, I'll just take these and switch them around. And try it again. So, it's already on record. I'm going to turn the key. It should cycle it twice to try to wake up the sensor. Seen something happening there. Went back to zero. Let's see. Hit stop. Zoom to go back to the trigger point. By the way, the trigger point, you can have a wave going up, a wave going down. You can change what your trigger is. If you're going from zero volts and you're expecting there to be a voltage spike, just make it go to where the wave goes up. So it looks like Right here. Looks like I tried waking it up a couple times. This one might be kind of reading at first. Then it goes off and then it tries waking it up twice. So it's seeing, me seeing that it's trying to wake it up twice. The other sensor, when I checked it, it just tried to wake it up twice and there was nothing going on like this. I think the sensor is kind of starting to read and it's just not working out with the computer. Maybe it has high resistance in it. Uh, but seeing that it's not staying up on the voltage like it should, I'm going to say that both the sensors are bad. 
So you can test everything. You don't have to take guesses. Whenever I do work, I don't take guesses. I'm not wasting customers' money or my time. Hope that helps somebody.